Now what we do is we have to be able to build that up. So obviously, ideally, we beat them with a straight line drive every time, and that's great. If you have the ability to freeze somebody so much that you can beat them in a straight line drive, more power to you and go to that every single time. But sometimes we're going to take off and we're going to beat them, we're going to get even with them, but we're not going to be by them. And so then we can't shoot kind of a Hail Mary prayer finish. We've got to be able to power up and finish, you know, kind of like a man. You know what I mean? So let's have uh, you help me out demonstrating right here, okay? So have your feet right there again. Now this time what we're going to do is we're going to do dummy defense, okay? The reason we're doing dummy defense is because now we're going to the second progression, which is we're going to fake one time just so you get a fake. So you're going to go here, big fake. The second time I'm going to go. He knows that, okay? You're not going to cut me off. You're going to jam my hip. So when I go on this right here, I want you to try to get to right here as early as you can right there. This happens all the time in a game, right? You get jammed and you get bumped off your line. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take a dribble and a stride stop at the same time as our second dribble. I call this second dribble, okay? So the second dribble, he's going to keep coming with me. I'm going to go one, two, and hit him, and then be able to go one, two, and finish, okay? So watch this timing again. So again, remember, I'm going on the second one. So I'm here, I fake, bang, fake. Second one, he's jamming my hip. I get to here, now obviously, ideally, we swim over top, and then when we take the second dribble, it's one, two, bang, you keep coming with me, keep coming with me, bang, and then I keep going right there. So you've got to load up and hit. You know this, but stay, stay low right here, be as strong as you can right here, okay? My feet are stationary, okay? I'm going to give you a good hit, you ready for this? Okay, if I'm here, boom, that right there is what a lot of you guys do, and what happens is, watch this, watch my outside foot again on this. Do you see how I, if I win the bump, I fall forward? That's what we want to eliminate. We want to eliminate you guys off balance. What I want to do is, I want to go like this, and my hit instead is just going to be my shoulder. So look at my feet, they don't move, and I'm just, boom, that's all I'm doing. And you felt that more aggressively, and I'm on balance. The other day, I got a chance to work with a really good player, and he was talking about burning up the rib cage. And he was like, great players get into guys' rib cages. So if he's guarding me right here, what he said as an NBA player was, I basically jam my elbow as hard as I can so that they stop pressuring me. I don't want you guys to jam your elbow and hurt somebody, but I do want you guys to jam your shoulder all the way into like your bicep and tricep area. You need to be able to hit him, bang! And you feel that in slow motion, don't you? Imagine full speed. So when you guys are here, I'm gonna go slow again. I'm here, fake one time, second time we'll go like this, Dribble, bang, bump, one, two, and finish it. So let's just focus on this bump, okay? So set your ball down real quick and come guard me real quick. Yeah. So if he's here guarding me, we, we don't want to go right into his chest, right? We want to go into his shoulder so he opens up. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to have your feet wide. No, you're pressuring me because the whole reason we're using this is because he's jamming us, right? All I want you to do is work on this leverage portion. You try to stay firm, okay? Get as low as you can as whatever you want to do. And what I want you guys to do, and notice he's pushing me hard right here. I have to stay on balance. I want you guys to just take this dribble and then bang and hit him. So if I'm here, go ahead, uh, guard me, get low right there just like you would be because that's where he'd be. If I go like this, that doesn't make you all balance, does it? Because I hit up to down. But if I go like this and go from down to up, now he goes back. Does that make sense? So you guys have to go from down to up because if you hit right here, all you're doing is helping him drop into his stance. So what I want you guys to do is everybody partner up just right here, get to here, and just these guys are low, so it's going to force you to get low and bang, hit them from low to lower, low to lower. Okay? Everybody partner up. Let's just work on the hit. Work on the hit. Hey, hold balls, hold balls. One thing I've seen right away is we've had a lot of this, which is a start, but say you're guarding me. Go ahead, guard me, get low. We've had a lot of guys go like this and bump them, but then they, they go with it. Watch my feet right here. This foot can lean and be on the toe, but ideally we're on balance and we don't move it. So we don't want to lift it. We don't ever want to go like this and lift it off because now we're off balance. So when I'm here, press me a little bit more. He's right there. I want to bang. Notice that? Now, if you have a really strong guy, you might have to get a little bit on your toe, but the more you can stay planted and bang, give him a bump, bang, give him a, I'm good. Because now I'm on balance, right? And you felt that, didn't you? And I wasn't even going full speed. So tear up your partner's rib cage with good bumps with your shoulder, 
Good legal bumps with your shoulder while staying on balance. It's here, bang, here, bang. Okay, that's all you're doing right now. Here we go. Tear their rib cage up. Put your arms like this, just put them like, like this, okay? Do you guys know how sometimes there's hurdles where you try to jump over them? If you guys have ever done this stretch where you put it like this and duck under, that stretch right there, that's exactly what this move is. He's guarding me right here. He's lower than I am, and I almost have my foot here. I have to act like I'm getting lower and getting under and then hit him on the way up. That's how the leverage is right there, okay? So now we're gonna go into that second bump, and if I see a soft, if coaches see a soft bump, we've got push-ups.